I'm getting ready to work on the door locks in my blue W126 300 SD. <laughs> you know, I think that's the case with a lot of these W126s. They're so old now, a lot of times the door locks do not work. People are really frustrated with these cars trying to get them working. They're a little bit more complicated than the older models. Now remember, up to the W123 chassis, the engine produced vacuum that was stored in the tank and that vacuum is what made the door locks go up and down. Well, I think Mercedes decided that that wasn't the most reliable way to do this. So they came up with a little electric motor pump that would produce the vacuum. So the vacuum would be produced when you turn the key on. So, you know, like in the older ones, if it leaks out of the tank, then the doors don't open, <laughs> which is the case with a lot of them. I think the basic idea was okay, all right, to get a, a little electric pump that would produce vacuum and that pump would be activated by your key when you put it in the door to open and close. So it's kind of like vacuum on demand. But, <laughs> this is a big but, I think the Mercedes engineers failed when they decided where to put the pump. And they didn't think down the road 20 years when these cars <laughs> got old and started getting water in and around the pump. And of course, they decided to put the pump in the trunk right by the spare tire and that's okay, it's well protected, but as the cars age, they get leaky uh, rear window seals, leaky trunk seals, leaky taillight seals. You get moisture in the trunk, the moisture traps in there and it begins to corrode. You know, I recently picked up a couple of W126 300 SDs and with all of them, none of the door locks work and I decided to see how good the pumps were. <laughs> but look, at this is what happens when a car sits out in the rain. Look at the corrosion on this pump here. And so was the case on two of these cars. Now this car, the pump wasn't all corroded. You know, I pulled it out of the trunk. It looks okay. I'll, I'm gonna open the trunk in a little bit here and just show you the location. I'm gonna show you what the pumps look like. and We're gonna do a quick test so you can see how they operate. So here's the location right here. Now remember, this is only in the W126 chassis built in the US market from 1981 to 1991. The W201, W124 that came after this car, they put it under the rear seat. <laughs> so I think maybe they figured out there might be a problem there. All right, so it's well protected. You can see it's in a rubber casing. It has this steel plate that protects it from the spare tire. And it's really easy to remove. There's a couple of uh, sheet metal screws here and here. You can pull this plate off. As I said, I already removed this earlier, but I put it back in just so you could see. And then you split open this rubber insulator and there's the motor. See how nice and clean this one is? Well, that probably means it hasn't been subject to a lot of moisture, but let's flash back to that other one. I mean, both of the cars out there that I have, they're just all rusty. The connections are rusty. And a lot of times the moisture just gets in the pump and seizes it, even if it looks good. So if you have a W126 and the door locks are not working, the very first thing you want to do is pull this motor out and test it. I decided before taking it over to the bench for some bench testing that I would just test it here in the car. What I did is I got in here and I really cleaned these contacts real well. Now, if I plug it in, let's see what happens. Look at that, it runs. Okay, it's gonna run and run and run until it builds up vacuum to shut off. So it's, the vacuum's not plugged in. So let's plug the vacuum in. Okay, it should run for a short time and then the lock should either go up or down depending upon the position and it should shut off. Oh, well, it shut off. That's a good sign, but nothing is moving. I'm gonna go over and try the key in the door. Let's see if the pump will run again. Okay, I'm turning it to lock position. The motor's not coming in. I'm opening up. The motor's not coming on. So <laughs> we've got some work to do here, folks. This can get a little complicated. Uh, there's a funky things going on with this car. So uh, we at least know at this point it's, it's not the pump running. Now, just because the pump runs, we don't know if it's producing vacuum. Let's try one more thing here. Let's unplug it. 
unplug the vacuum. Okay. Is it blowing or pumping? That's something a lot of people don't know. One direction it'll blow. You know, I can't tell with my glove on. Huh. This thing's not blowing or sucking, and look, it's shut off on its own. So there could very well be something wrong with this pump, because it doesn't appear to be either sucking or blowing. Remember on these pumps, the motor reverses to either blow out this tube or to suck in, producing vacuum. So at this point, I'm not going to go any further until I find out whether this pump is really operating properly. It's running, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's okay. So I think you can see I've got a little more detective work to do before I know what's wrong with the system. And so is the case with these cars. It could be a number of things. It could be a wiring issue. It could be a pump issue. It could be the vacuum actuator door lock issues. It could be the switch issue on the door. So you kind of need to understand how this whole system works so that you can adequately troubleshoot it. Now, one of the first manuals I ever wrote almost 20 years ago was about troubleshooting vacuum systems and vacuum door locks, particularly on the W123. And when I went to do something for the W126, I was already doing videos, and those manuals take forever to write. So I decided to shoot a long video, it's a really long video, instructions on how to troubleshoot and repair the W126 vacuum door lock. If you want to get an overview how the entire system works and the weak points and where you can troubleshoot to find the problems on your own W126, be sure and check that video out. I'll put a link in the show more part of the description below this video.